Heavy, sir. Well, it's my birthday in a few hours. <laughs> Shouldn't I be? Not really. <laughs> okay, so I'm kind of hoping. Or um, I'm looking forward to Jerome proposing tomorrow. <laughs> What's funny? Why are you laughing? I'm sorry, but I really can't look forward to that. Shouldn't I be looking forward to that? Not going to perform, you should forget it. We're almost there. Oh. <laughs> Few more steps, and um. This way. This way. Voila! <laughs> yeah, baby. Happy birthday! <laughs> Happy birthday, baby. <laughs> Happy birthday. It's brand new, baby. I bought you a brand new car. <laughs> what are you looking for? Is that all you got for me? I I don't understand. What do you mean? Mm. I I, I kind of knew that um, this one comes. So. What's, going on? What's this? Jerome, would you marry me? Oh, baby, no, 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 no. It, it's Amanda proposes to a woman. It doesn't matter who's proposing to who. I've just asked you a question, Jerome. Will you marry me? Look. Look, baby, I do love you, but I'm, I'm not in a hurry to go. I, but I am, Jerome. Jerome, please answer me or I will not get up from here. Baby, don't Jerome, do this. Jerome, I cannot continue to waste my life while my friends are out there getting married and having children. Isn't six years enough? Baby, baby, it, it's so embarrassing. I, I can't do this. Jerome, 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 Jerome. Jerome, please. Baby, I'm... I'm sorry, I can't do this. No, no, no. Jerome! No. Jerome! Yo! Yo, bro! Karen! Why did you do it? Shut up! Just shut up! <laughs> oh my god! Are you serious? Do you know what your problem is? Your problem is that you do not know when to laugh and when not to laugh. Sometimes you act like you're retarded and one day you're gonna go mad, I swear. Oh, come on, don't curse me now. If you had seen yourself bringing out a ready to propose to a man who obviously isn't ready to settle with you, you would have seen how funny it was. Are you even my friend? Of course I am. Then why? Why can't you feel my pain? Okay. I cannot feel your pain, because I haven't been in a six months relationship, not to talk of a fruitless six years relationship, so no. Why is Jerome doing this to me? Why? Why? Uh, am I not wife material? Karen, I'm sure he's trying to be a good designer so he doesn't waste all this material. Come on. I have been nothing, nothing but a good girlfriend to Jerome. Since our school days. I know, right? May she continue to rest in peace. Supposed to be asking you that. What is your problem, Jerome? It's you that I don't understand. Why are you trying to make me look like I'm a bad person? Bad. You're making me look bad in front of everyone. Bad. You're a bad person already. 
clue guy. It's complicated. Complicated? What the hell is complicated? Why are you shouting? Wait, wait. Why are you taking this so personal? It's between my girlfriend and I. Why are you taking it personal? That's fine. Well, you're right. But I'm not going to watch you hurt Carrie. Especially when I know everything she's done for you. Ah, oh, everything. Everything. The problem is everything. That's what makes it complicated. You don't love her anymore, right? Oh my god. Mm. Oh goodness. Oh Me my too. god. She's been like this ever since I got back. Mm -hmm. I thought she was mad at me because I wasn't here on a big day. What big day? Her birthday, of course. Girl, her birthday turned out to be the most embarrassing day of her life. What? Yep. What happened? Tell me. Okay, so this girl rejected the gift Jerome bought for her, which was a car. Yeah. Brother brought out a ring, went down on her knee to propose to him. She did what? Yep. Oh my god. Okay, wait. Wait. <laughs> did he accept? I just told you it was the most embarrassing day of her life. If he had accepted, would it be embarrassing? Well, the guy left her on the spot. He just walked away. Oh no. Mm -hmm. No way. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, right? Anyways, what's up with you? You look good. Oh, thank you. Hey. I hope you guys have something to eat in the kitchen because I am starving. Anyone to eat? I have everything. Thank you. Karen. Why did you do that? Why did I do what? Propose to a man? The problem is not proposing to a man. The only reason why mine is bad is that I was rejected. Not just rejected. Embarrassingly rejected. <laughs> I'm really surprised that you, Lisa. So even if Donna doesn't know what's going on, you of all people should know why I did what I did. <laughs> Look, there is no need to yell. I understand how you feel. But under no circumstance should you propose to a man. That's my point. Well, I don't know much about you and Joe, you know. I just started living with you not too long ago. Unlike Lisa, who have been with you since your school days. The reason why she should know the reason why I did what I did. Look, my point is, what is bad is bad. If Jerome wanted to marry you, he would have proposed to you. Lisa? What are you insinuating? That he doesn't want to marry her? You prefer I say that? It would be better for our friend here to realize what is good for her in time. Listen, I don't know what you're saying. And I do not want to know what you're saying. You expect me to throw away six years of relationship into the dustbin? Jerome loves me and I love him too. Our love has brought us this far and it will take us further. <laughs> love or gratitude? Hey. 
Um, you sent for me. Yeah, I called to give you back your car. <laughs> Come on, it's a gift. Well, I reject your gift the same way you rejected me. I never rejected you, Karen. I can never reject you. I mean, what you did was so, so uncalled for. <laughs> You call six years of dating uncalled for. What you did was so unexpected. I mean, proposing to me in front of my friends, I mean, it's, it's kind of weird. Okay, so why haven't you proposed to me? Look, I... Answer me, Jerome, because I am very confused. Tell me, you're not, you're not ready? I am not wife material? Six years is not enough for you, you'd like to make it ten? What do you think my mom would even do? What do you... Billy. Hmm. Tell me something, Jerome. I'm sorry. You're sorry for? Everything. What is everything? Look, baby, I, I promise to make it up to you. You are being cold towards me. Why? Cold? Look. Karen. Jerome has been my friend since school days. And you, my very good friend. But on this case, I am not on his side. Look, I've been talking to him. Yes, I have. But I don't understand what's going on. Tell me something, Gary. I'm sure you must know what's going on. Just, just tell me something. Something? <laughs> You, something, wait, something like, I told you, I am confused. Well, something like, maybe he's not in love with you. No, 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 really? Karen, really? Jerome can't stop loving you, as you know that. Look. The reason why I came here is to apologize on his behalf. I mean, regarding what happened at that time. It... It's okay. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Hey, Jerry. You know I'm not Jerry. How are you doing? <laughs> so I get to have a serious talk with you. Oh, how about Karen, yeah? Who else? Mm. Since oh. you say it's serious, let me know how you do it. <laughs> See, there's absolutely nothing to talk about Karen. I'm just, just taking it slow. Too slow, Jerome. You've known each other for like, what, six years? That is because we started dating at a very young age. Besides, we are friends, right? Yeah, duh. Mm, and none of us are married. <laughs> so why are you guys making Karen and I look so bad? Don't even go there. I am not married because I haven't found the right one. And you have. <laughs> so why, why the delay? Says who? What makes you think I found the right one? How can you even say that? No, I mean, what makes you think so? Gosh, you men! Oh, uh, now that you've spoken about men, I'm hungry. You care for something? Of course, I'm gonna eat. Rice and stew. Great, so long as you serve that in one plate. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I'll be right back. Don't forget a glass of wine! Really? <laughs> Alright, <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Jerome, will you marry me? Oh, baby, no, 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 no. It's a man that proposes to a woman. It doesn't matter who's proposing to who. I've just asked you a question, Jerome. Will you marry me? No, baby, I do love you, but I'm, I'm not in a hurry to I, go. But I am, Jerome. Jerome, please answer me or I will not get up from here. Karen. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Is it about Jerome? Donna, I am not okay. In fact, I am very confused. Okay. What you really need to do is That's right. You know, I, I used to think that Jerome wanted to settle down, but after my birthday, I just feel like he doesn't love me anymore and he doesn't want to spend his forever with me. Come on, Karen. You can't just jump into a conclusion like that. If he doesn't love you, he wouldn't be with you. He would have left. Donna, it's more complicated than that. Sometimes I feel like he feels like the best way to compensate is by being with me, even if he doesn't love me anymore. Okay. Why are you saying that? It's something I don't want to talk about. <sighs> you can talk to me, you know that. I know I've been here barely a year after my cousin introduced us. But hey, you can talk to me. Donna, don't be silly. Of course I know I can talk to you. But I just don't want to talk about it. Okay, it's fine. Let me just... Yeah, hello? Hey, Karin, how are you doing? I'm fine. Hmm. Fine. You don't sound fine. Are you sure you're okay? I said I am fine. Okay. See, I was hoping uh, you could come to the house tomorrow so we have a talk. Listen, I don't have a good feeling about what it is you want to talk about. So please just tell me what it is over the phone. Oh, come on. Why are you sounding like we had a fight before now? I mean, I just want us to talk, okay? It's fine. Tomorrow. Okay. All right. Bye. You want to do that? Not really, but I, I guess that's what I have to do. After everything. Look, I can't do this anymore, guys. I can't, I can't hide my emotions. I just, I just have to be true to myself. Bro, you talk as if you don't, like you have no idea how heartbroken she's gonna be. Whichever way she's gonna be hurt. So the earlier the better. I mean, that would afford them more time to heal. Wow. After six years, that girl sacrificed everything she had for you. Hey, don't talk like that, girl. Mm -hmm. I also did sacrifice. Look, it's not like I was responsible for happening to her mom. It would have happened anyway. If she knew that was going to happen. Well, it happened anyway. Wait, wait. Why are you making me feel like I'm indebted to Karen? Why are you making me feel guilty? All I'm trying to do is to make Karen happy. That's what I'm trying to do. But I can hide my emotions. I'm out of love with her. So all you're trying to say is you don't love Karen anymore and you feel indebted to her? Kind of. Because of that girl. It's not because of any girl. Bro, you started misbehaving the moment you started cheating on Kari. Hey, Kari, slow down. Look, it's not because of any girl. I'm a full grown man, I have the right to choose, don't I? You amaze me, bro. I just put you realize your mistakes before it's too late. 
have a nice day. I'm here. What is it you wanted to talk about? Karen, you're undoubtedly the most adorable lady I've ever met. I just want to say I'm thankful. Please just go straight to the point. I, I, I know what it is that is. I know what I'm thinking. What are you thinking? Jerome, I have been nothing but good to you. I have shown you nothing but love my whole life. Why are you doing this to me? You've done nothing wrong. Look, I'm on Karen. I'm the one that has not been of my best behavior. I'm sorry. After everything, you ended up on Jerome's bed? You can't come to my house? Mock me? Come on. <laughs> Can you believe her? <laughs> Is this not funny? <laughs> oh my god. Seriously, you are the only one who finds everything funny. No, I'm the only one who sees our friend's relationship a joke. How can a man embarrass you in that manner and you, the same woman, goes back to foolishly sleep in his bed? Lisa, well, what? What I think is a joke here is me telling you about it. Okay, so what now? You guys are back together? We never broke up. Karen, after everything, you're still going to continue with this relationship. Wait, do he promise you marriage now? Lisa, what? What are you insinuating? That she breaks up with him? What are you doing to Karen? You've asked me that question several times. I don't have the answer. I mean, I'm just not in love with her anymore. So you should have told her. You guys met at that time and you had sex with her. What do you mean we had sex? Were you there? She kissed me first. What were you expecting me to do? Like ignore her? Look, I, I can't just look her in the face and tell her, you know, I don't love her anymore. It will, it will make, you know, it automatically make it look like I'm a bad person, which I'm not. And cheating on her makes it bad enough. Look, it will be better for her to be single and available for someone who wants to find a wife. Don't to be in a relationship and waste more years. I can't believe this is coming from you, Lisa. No, I am surprised you're pretending you do not know what is going on. No, I don't know what is going on. Maybe you can enlighten me. After all, Jerome is your friend as well, so tell me. I'm not cheating on her. The problem is, she's not aware we've broken up and I've moved on. So she's alone in this six years relationship? No, no, don't say it like that. Don't say six years. Technically, you know, I used to love her one, two, three, four. Not six years. Well, I'm sorry she is. I love Jerome. And I think he loves me too. <laughs> you think? <laughs> oh my God. Karen! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you find everything funny? Isn't it obvious? She's mentally deranged, can't you tell? <laughs> no, seriously, guys. <laughs> Wait. So after six years in a relationship with a guy, all you can do is think he loves you. Karen, you haven't even sure anymore. Bro, I am so disappointed in you. I am disappointed in you, Jerome. Look, you're ruining the relationship. You're ruining our relationship. So you want to cut me up? It's not about you, Joe. It's not. It's about us. It's about Lisa, Karen, and myself. I mean, we built this way back. Why are you acting up? You're making a big fuss of nothing. Karen, my advice to you is just follow your heart and let things flow naturally, okay? Thank you, my darling. You're a good friend. Who is nice and cares about me. Okay. Thank you, Peter Okay. I beg you. 
Are you serious? Hello, Mom. I'm blessed, Mom. Uh, Mom, this one that you're calling me so early, I hope everything is okay. <laughs> yes, everything is fine, Mom. Uh, she's, she's, she's fine. She's fine. No, no, Mom. Mom, I'm kind of late for work right now, okay? Uh, let me call you when I get a chance. Go ahead. Babe, you need to stop calling him on. He obviously isn't going to pick up. Okay? What's going on? Jerome is not answering. He's not answering my calls. And, and he's not picking up. Maybe he's just busy. My relationship is falling apart. I don't know what I'm going to do. You don't have to do anything. A relationship that won't work won't work. Huh? For six years, all I have done is to show him love. For six years, I have shown Jerome love and nothing but love. Babe, hey, stop beating yourself to it, okay? If Jerome will come around, he will. Alright? Or better still, you can let go of this six years relationship and start afresh. It's easy for you to say. But it's not, that is not even going to work. My relationship with Jerome is the only consolation I have. If it falls apart, I do not know what I am going to do. I have zero idea to how many years you and Jerome have been together. But hey, no matter what happens, I will stand by you, okay? Just be strong. You have to stop calling this guy. Yeah. Hey, honey. Hey, Lisa. How are you doing? Fine, as usual. What's wrong? You don't look too good. It's about Jeremy and Karen. I need to let you know what's happening in case you don't know. What is it? Jerome wants to break up with Karen. Then he should. <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. If he wants to break up with her, he should. Are you serious? Why do you have to say that? Why should I not say that? <laughs> Please, can you get me a drink? Waiter. Look, Karen, I... I never thought a time like this would come, you know? A time where we have to discontinue the journey we began together, the journey of love, the journey of togetherness. But as you can see right now, we've come to the crossroad where we have to, you know, part ways. I've tried, I, I've tried in clear terms, but I'm trying to let you know is we have to break up this relationship for our own good. The earlier we break up, the better for both of us. We have to go our separate ways and live our lives. Karen, you don't understand. We all put in so much. But in life, I mean, sometimes things happen we don't understand. You know, humans as we are, we get tired of each other. I never knew I could grow out of love with you. We can keep trying, trying to make, look, I've tried, we've tried. We've all tried, we've sacrificed, but current this relationship is going nowhere. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But we can still be friends. Oh, we can be friends. Okay. I mean, she, love, love is is not an attitude. It's a feeling. And when the feeling is no longer there, you don't have to force it. 
You don't have to love someone out of gratitude. No, you don't have to make it look like you owe someone. So you have to love the person. You have to love freely. Love has to be spontaneous. It has to be organic. Look, Karen, shit happens. In life, shit happens. Things go bad. People get tired. I mean, that's, that's what life is. There are certain things we can control. So we should just accept our fate. So on this note, I want to formally tell you we've broken up. You can go live your life. You can have as many boyfriends as you want. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. Um, I wish you all the best. And I always remember that I okay. Okay, Karen, so officially now, we are no more. We just broke up. Yeah. Yes, we just broke up. Empty. Lisa, Jerome has been avoiding me lately. Is that why your pots are empty? I came here because I was hungry. See, I'm telling you what is worrying me right now. Oh. Okay, so Jerome is planning to break up with you soon. <laughs> what did you just say? Okay, just. You know, my mouth leaks. I'm not supposed to tell you this. She knew this. Gary told me. So you and Gary are in with Jerome on this? No. Look, it's not what you think. The best thing for you to do is just let go of Jerome too. You disgust me. So you can't wait, eh? To get me in your shoes. <laughs> I don't understand. You don't understand. But you obviously make a mockery of every dreadful situation. You want me to be as single as you are, right? Why are you sounding like there's something I could do that I'm not doing? Am I supposed to pretend everything is okay just to comfort you when it's not? You disgust me. What did I say? Jerome must end a six-year relationship just like that. Lisa said that, no Jerome. Hmm? You should hear that from Jerome before taking it this hard on yourself. Lisa knows what she's saying. Yeah, she jokes a lot, but she knows how to infuse serious stuff in between her jokes. Babe, listen. Whatever that is going to happen, I suggest you take it easy on yourself, okay? Now I understand why some women commit suicide after being dumped. Suicide? Because of a man? <laughs> no, 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 no. Women that do that must be the most dumbest set of people on this earth. What? No. I'm not saying I want to commit suicide. I'm just saying that I understand the feeling of being dumped. But you have not been dumped yet. Babe, just calm down, please. Calm down and cheer up, okay? I need to call Gary. Still friends. So why are you sitting back and, and, and watching Jerome do this to me? Karen. Some things I don't have power over. As you know it. Look, I spoke to Jerome. But he's still not coming through. What exactly is my offense? What exactly is my offense to Jerome? Nothing. 
absolutely nothing. I don't understand you. I don't understand you and Lisa at all. It seems like you guys are happy knowing exactly what I'm going through. Did Jerome break up with you? No, not yet, but Lisa said he would. Look, um, <clears throat> Karin, it's not like I haven't tried, but I think he's going through a lot. Please, please speak to Jerome, because if I lose Jerome, I'll lose everything. So I walked into this boutique and guess what I found this very handsome looking man in the men's wear. So I decided to join him there to shop for a couple of men's stuff, hoping to catch his attention, but he was still minding his business. So he went out to cash out and I decided to follow him. Guess what? It looked like I didn't even exist. Okay, so to cut long story short. His wife came up from the women's line and here I am with men's stuff that I don't even want. And I had to pay for all these stuff. Can you imagine? <laughs> Charlie, you know who you had to talk to? Oh, Lisa. Hey. Are you here? Yes, I am. Ah, wait. You are still in this mood. Well. She's right here acting like the world is coming to an end. Hmm. Baby, you know six years is no joke. You of all people, you know that. Wait, six years of relationship that wouldn't end in marriage is not meant to be. But letting go of such a long-term relationship is not easy, you know? Isn't it better for you to let go of six years or long-term relationship than to have a broken marriage? See. I just don't understand why people fall in love today. Tomorrow they are out of love. That is why I hate relationships so. Well, too bad for you. Karen, dear. Listen, my advice to you is to let Jerome go. If he doesn't want this anymore. No. No? Babe, fight for what you want, okay? Follow your heart. You think I should, right? Yes. See, letting go when things aren't right isn't good. It won't show your strength. Love doesn't give up, you know? Yes. You're right. I, I won't give up on us. I'll fight. Of course. <laughs> this is ridiculous, Karen. Jerome doesn't love you anymore. Lisa! But I still love him. And my love is enough for both of us. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Darling. My darling. Oh, How and why what? You're surprised to see your girlfriend who has the key to your house in your house. You didn't tell me you were coming. Well, oh, that's because I called for you weren't speaking. Well, it's okay. You're here, that's good. We need to talk. <laughs> Absolutely, darling. But not before you go in there and freshen up. Come to the dining because I've made you your favorite something special. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> I'm sure you like the taste of the food, right? Yeah. I've been eating food of same taste for like six years now. Tiring, isn't it? Tiring? <laughs> that just goes to show you like the taste so much you cannot do without it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. There's something I wanted to discuss with you. Yeah, sure. After you finished your meal. Mm -hmm. 
There you go. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Naked, right? Mm-hmm. You want more? No, still have some in the mouth. Are you sure? No. Are you sure? It's it. You like it. <laughs> So, you know, I know you have been going through a lot lately. I understand you. Mm-hmm. I just want to let you know that even if you don't, you don't want to tell me about it. I we've been through so much before, and I want to let you know that I am here with you till the very end. Okay. The, look, that's not what I want to say. What are we I understand. You see. We can't throw away what we've built for years. So, even if you don't tell me what it is you're going through, I'll be here, at least until you come out of it. Okay? Okay? Are you okay? She's begging, you know, stay with me regardless. So what do you intend to do? What do I intend to do? For the art of this relationship, I mean... You see, I don't know why you keep involving me in this because, trust me, I don't want to be a part of this. I was hoping you could tell her. Hmm? You could tell her the decision I've taken. You guys seem to have a very nice rapport. They see that now and then. So just... Tell her what? Tell her she's on her own. I'm, I'm done with this relationship. Can you do that with me? Tell him now, honey, you gotta... Yo! You know, Chris? No, I am I'm getting angry right now. Like, the whole matter is pissing me off. Bro, you wake up one morning, you fell out of love with this very woman who's got you back for the past six years. This woman lost her mother because of you. Now, you should be courageous enough to look straight into her eyes and go like, you know what, uh, I don't love you anymore, go to hell. I'm out of this relationship. What I don't understand is, you guys keep blaming me for what happened to her mom. No, it happened. The mother was going to die regardless. I didn't kill the mom. So why are you making me feel so bad? Whatever, Jerome. Look, and it's not like there's someone, point of correction. I'm not seeing anyone. Just make my decision. I'm out of this relationship. I can't do it anymore. That's it. You can create the name as you want to. Jerome, you two have settled? Not really, but I'm trying to take your advice to work things out between both of us. Hmm, okay, that's great. <laughs> All the best. So, how do I look? Oh, gorgeous enough to change your rock mind at first sight. Thank you. So, <laughs> see you later. <laughs> oh my god! I will. <laughs>
Where is this man? His car is here, so he must be inside. Why isn't he answering his phone? And all the doors are locked. Hmm. Ah. Why can't she just understand she's no longer wanted here? It's as simple as ABC. I don't want her anymore. Ah. Because she chose not to understand. So it's not my force to love someone. Ah. It is wrong to stop loving someone after promising them heaven on earth. In your case, it's very, very bad. Karen sacrificed hey, her. That's the fact I don't want to hear. That's the fact that has kept me in this, this, this relationship of guilt all these years. You guys keep saying, Karen sacrifice, Karen sacrifice. What is that? I want to be in a relationship of love, a relationship in which I love the person wholeheartedly, you know, a relationship whereby I have to be extra careful of my actions every now and then, not to be tagged as ungrateful. Mm. What is that? I feel like... I feel like I'm in a cage. There's no two ways about it. Karen is a very good woman. But the point is, I can't keep living my life in a way of panic and fear, like I always don't want to hurt her, like, you know, I owe her something or whatever. I want to be free. I just, I just want to be in love and be free. I, I can't do this. You know what, Jerome? Just follow your heart. Karen, you need to wake up. Look, Jerome doesn't want this to work. He wants to end it. And relationship is for two people. You alone cannot make it work. Only a man that wants to be kept can be kept. Sometimes one needs to be strong to fight for the two. Donna, can I have a conversation with my friend without you battening? Uh -uh. But she's my friend too. <laughs> You two started living together only because your cousin is our friend. You know nothing about Jerome and Karen. Absolutely nothing. I might know nothing, but I can see you are so bent on separating these two. Is that what you should be happy about as a friend? Huh? Separating them? Jerome is my friend, same as Karen. I know what's best for them, better than you do. Good for you. Allow Karen to fight for the man she loves. Come on! <sighs> Don't know. The fact that you live in here should not make you forget your boundaries. You get me? <laughs> Boundary manager. your food. Thanks. You shouldn't have. Come on, Karen. It's been long I saw you. And look at you. You're no more the happy Karen you used to be. Well, all thanks to you and your friend, Jerome. Karen, I want... I want you to believe that. 
I am not in support of Jerome's behavior towards you. I am not only losing Jerome, I'm losing all my friends. Hey. Why did you say that? I'm your friend, regardless. No one has my back. Not you. Even Lisa is a no-show. Hey. <clears throat> I've got your back. I am concerned about you. Just as some things are beyond my power. But Karen, I can't force Jerome into something he doesn't want. Look, relationship is not a joke. Please talk to him for me. Just tell him to forgive me for whatever it is I have done. Look, you've done nothing, okay? And stop being hard on yourself. Probably doesn't want this anymore. Are you saying I should let him go? Just like that. Okay, so... Uh, you have to stop trying. I'm sorry to say this, but... You're alone in the relationship. Jerome moved on months ago. Yes, I have gone mad. You traitor of a friend! Me? Traitor? What did I do? <laughs> Clearly you've gone mad. What's going on here? I can't believe it. I really can't believe this. I have been a fool all this while. I don't understand. What happened to you? Can you believe that Jerome has been having an affair with my best friend? What? How did you know? Gary told me. Gary? You mean Gary told you that Jerome has been cheating on you with Lisa? No. He didn't tell me who it was, but with the description, I, I figured it was Lisa. He's dating someone very close to you. I'm telling you this because you're my friend and I really care about you, but I can't say no. Mm. Is it who I'm thinking? Hey, no wonder she has been laughing about everything. Can you believe it? Lisa. Of all people. Hey. Lisa. Hey. Karen, I brought you food. Karen. Babes, come on, you need to eat something. <sighs> okay, you know what? You need to be strong, okay? It's life, these things happen. Just try and cheer up. Now I'm gonna leave this food at your doorstep, okay? Just try and eat something, please. Well, I know you don't want to see anyone or talk to anyone at the moment, which I understand. But at least try and eat something, okay? Okay. The food is at your door.
Is this girl still alright? Karen. Karen. What am I going to do now? Who am I going to call? Why are you looking like an angry dog? You are the one who is the dog. Lisa. What did you tell Karen to give her the guts to slap me like that? I haven't seen Karen in a long while. Jerome, you need to tell me what I need to hear before I lose it on you now. Look, I told you, I haven't seen Karen in a bloody long while. What's going on? What's going on? Gary. Gary what? Yes, Gary. Gary, what does Gary want? <laughs> okay. Gary what? Crazy people. Gary. Oh, you're asking me what's going on? If you don't know and Jerome don't know, who is going to tell me the reason I got slapped by Karen? Oh, you're throwing the question back at me. Hello, Gary. He hangs up. Something is going on and I need to find out. So you had to open your big mouth and tell Karen I was seeing someone else. So are, are, you, are you serious? Should that be your concern right now? Or the whereabouts of Karen? Look, if you had kept your mouth shut, all this wouldn't have happened. It wouldn't have gotten this bad. Yes, I told her. I told her everything. I told her she should stop wasting her precious time on you. She has been wasting so many years on you, ungrateful being. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wow. Grateful Ben. This is one phrase I've been avoiding all this while. I tried so hard. I guess I can't avoid it now. Stop justifying your actions, man. I'm not proud to call you my friend. You think I give a hell about you or Karen or anyone? I have my life to live. I'll live my life the way it pleases me. I don't care about none of you. I don't give a hoot. I don't care. John, if anything happens to Karen, I won't forgive you. No. 
If anything happens to Karen, blame yourself. You could have told her to come out of the relationship without painting it black. You could have done that. Remember I told you you were free to do whatever you want to do? And that I won't have your back? As a matter of fact, I don't want to be a part of this. Have a nice day. Why are you standing in my way? Because Karen doesn't want to see you. Well, I don't want to see her either, but she needs to explain the cause of the slap she dashed on my face because I haven't gotten over it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's funny to you. Hey, is it bad that I'm laughing? Oh, so you know how it feels like to be laughing when someone is so serious? Hmm? Girl, get out of my way. Karen, Karen, you need to come out and explain my offense to me. After so many years of friendship, this is how you pay me back? She should be asking you that. Eh? You traitor. Wait, what has come over both of you? Have you guys been smoking something? Oh, well, uh, as you can see, Karen has not been out for days now. And I don't even know whether she's alright or not. Karen! Karen! Look, what is going on? I know you know something. Oh, stop Baby, let me just, let me I just... need something from you. Oh. Okay, okay. All right, cool. <laughs> um, okay. I need some money. You need, like, how much? Oh, just 3,000 Ghana cities. Just 3,000 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll make it ready for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, okay, okay. Go back to your game. No, 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 baby, I don't want to play the game again. Yeah, I don't want to disturb. <laughs> Just like that? Yes. I love you so, so much. I'm not going to leave you again. I'll stay with you till the end of time. I mean, where am I going to find a good one like you? I can't imagine myself losing you. Are you saying you're going to be with me all the time and you'll never leave me? Say it again. I'm sorry for any inconvenience. No, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I cook rice. You want some? Yes, please. Great. Let me go get it there. <laughs> yeah. I still don't know why you called me here and the reason for this mood. I never told her would. 
regret my action this fast. As a matter of fact, I, I never thought I would regret it at all. Mm -hmm. So why are you telling me? I miss Karen. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I'm expecting you to be happy now that Karen is no more in your life. And you have a new girlfriend, a beautiful one. I know it doesn't go by that. I don't think of her. I really do miss her. I don't get it. I mean, I don't know why we're having this discussion. I don't know what's going on. I need you to do me a favor, guy. I need you to make it possible for me to see Karen again. I know she doesn't want to see me. <laughs> do it. Mm. And who says she wants to see me? Look, Karen has cut everyone, including Lisa. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. Hmm. So it's true. You don't know the worth of what you have until you lose it. I'm sorry I can't help. Have a nice day. There's nothing for us to talk about, Gary. Karen, um, everyone here has one or two to say. Can you please hear us out? So, um, Karen, we understand that you have so much in your mind you want to pour out. So before we say anything, we want you to pour out your mind. Everyone here, except Donna, knows how I lost my mom during school days. You see, Donna, Jerome's mom was very ill 
and needed proper medical attention. But neither Jerome or his um, single mother had that money. So I had to go to my average mom to ask for her savings. And I knew if I told her the truth about what I needed the money for, she wouldn't give it to me. So I, I lied. My mom still didn't give it to me. So I had to steal. But unknown to me, my mom had a more serious illness that needed proper medical attention and needed all of that money. So, my mom's illness got worse. But there was no money. There was absolutely no money to take her to the hospital. So Donna, that was how I lost my mother. I have lived with the guilt for so many years and sometimes I wish you never met me. Maybe your mom would have still been alive now. All I wanted for consolation was your love. Karen. I felt my love wasn't enough. I was ready to do anything for you. All I wanted to do was to make you happy. I was, I was ready to let go of my aspirations, my dreams, whatever. But it's just that at some point I became, I became too cautious of myself because I didn't want to make any mistake. I didn't want to do anything to hurt you or to come across like I'm ungrateful or make you regret all you've done for me. You think I wanted you to be perfect? No, Karin. You were requesting for too much. It was... It was just too much for me. You know, at a point I felt you just wanted me to suffer because you felt I was indebted to you. Look, I'm also human. I... I tried. I got tired. I got frustrated. At some point, there were several times I wanted to propose to you. But I was just scared. I was scared if I decided we go on the journey forever to death do us part, maybe, just maybe I'll get fed up on the way and... And you couldn't talk to me. You couldn't talk to me. You had to go and date my best friend. You, Lisa. Me? How? What are you talking about? Wait. Karen, what rubbish are you talking about? Wait, 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 easy, easy, easy. No! Wait, hey, Lisa, chill. So, Karen, you see, when I told you, when I told you Jerome was cheating on you with someone very close, I wasn't talking about Lisa. I was talking about your flatmate, Donna. Wow. Oh, it's a lie? You don't believe that? Even her name is mentioned and you still don't believe it. But you could conclude I would betray you after all these years of our friendship. I didn't know about your mother. What has my mother got to do with you? Sleeping with, with my man! Karen, I can explain. Yes, go ahead and explain because I really want to understand what happened. No, it's my fault. When did I move then? You know, I used to visit you very often. And sometimes when I come, I I meet your absence, I, you know, we got, we got talking and I wish I could play like this with Karen without, not without about the weight of what I say or, you know, anything to hurt her. Did you, oh, you messed it up. Oh my God. Okay, this I'm definitely going to read, trust me. 
Okay, let's do this. Hey, are you okay? Ah, yeah, 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 I'm okay. Okay, you let your mind be here. Sure, please. sure. Okay. Um, so tell me about you. I mean, your relationship, especially love life. Oh, there's um, any? Nothing really. Mm. You know, I just got out from a very toxic relationship and uh, I moved down here to start afresh. Wow. Yeah. I, I guess we have something in common then. <laughs> what do you mean? Does that mean you and Karen's relationship is toxic or what? No, 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 no. Not at all. I mean, it's just complicated, you know. I. I feel I'm indebted to her somehow. I mean, I'm more indebted to her than I love her. It's, hmm. it's, it's just what it is. I, I mean, between you and I, I just feel we need to end this relationship. I mean, wow. I mean, the relationship between Karen and I, the earlier we end it, the better for both of us anyways. Oh, wow. Um, I'm surprised you're telling me this. Okay, have you opened up to Karen about how you feel? You don't understand. I feel like I owe her. I feel like I owe Karen. As such, I can't express myself. I can't tell her my peace of mind. This is how our relationship has always been. Just chill, 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 chill. chill, chill, chill. Let's play the game, okay? Let's do this. Let's see who's going to win. Chill. <laughs> This isn't good, okay? Karen is my flatmate. How do you expect me to date you when you two haven't even broken up? If I break up with Karen, you're going to date me? Okay. Let's see if you can just break up with her first, okay? I was so eager to come out of our relationship and get into a new one devoid of guilt and and the relationship in which I don't have to pay any debt. After much pressuring, Donna accepted my proposal and uh, we started dating Nicodemusly. I, I, I dated her with the intention of finding a way to end ours, I'm sorry. Even the relationship was not a defined one. You know, we couldn't go public. We couldn't meet or see any time we wanted. You know, we're just coming out from a very disastrous relationship. Yeah. And I thought Jerome here would have been the best person to make me feel better. So all you could do for your selfish self was to date the man of the person that took you in after escaping from your monster? And you, Karen, I'm sorry all this thing is happening to you. But I'm so disappointed in you for thinking I could betray you like this. I never knew Jerome was seeing someone else. The slap was meant for you in the first place. You know, I play a lot, yes. I play over everything. But I, it don't mean I'm not sensible. I only advise you to forget Jerome because I knew pushing him wouldn't help matters. Both of you needed the space to realize what was good for you. I meant no harm. And now it turns out that the same person who was pushing you to him is the same person who was pulling him away from you. I'm baffled. I'm sorry, Lisa. Goodbye. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Please. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. I cannot stand this hatred. I was about to 
leave you a minute, but since you're here, I'll just say it in person. Thanks for having me in your house, Gary. And about what happened, I'm really, really sorry, okay? I just let selfishness get a better part of me. And I really regret my actions. And about Jerome, I want you to forgive him, okay? It was just frustration that pushed him to do what he did. I can't stop with Karen. So this relationship is officially over? What? What are you telling me? Yeah, I, yeah, I know I promised blah, blah, blah. No, I can't. I can't do it anymore. It's over between you and I and um, stop calling me, stop texting me, stop. <laughs> I don't understand this. You know, you can't just call me on phone and be telling me this. Hey, come in. Good to see you. What have you been doing indoors? I'm sorry for any inconvenience. No, oh, that's fine. That's fine. I cook rice. You want some? Yes, please. Great. Let me go get it then. I hope you find a place in your heart to forgive me. I'm sorry. Hey, sir, what are you insinuating? That he doesn't want to marry her? You can talk to me, you know that. I know I've been here barely a year after my cousin introduced us. But hey, you can talk to me. Karen, my advice to you is just follow your heart and let things go naturally, okay? Thank you, my darling. You're a good friend. For six years, I have shown Jerome love and nothing but love. Hey, stop beating yourself to it, okay? If Jerome will come around, he will, all right? Or better still, you can let's go of this six years relationship and start afresh. It's easy for you to say. But it's not, no, it's not even going to work. My relationship with Jerome is the only consolation I have. If it falls apart, I do not know what I am going to do. Hey. I have zero idea to how many years you and Jerome have been together. But hey, no matter what happens, I will stand by you, okay? Just be strong. You have to stop calling this guy. I hope you understand the reason why he did what he did. Because you two deserve to be happy. Please forgive him, okay? Okay, except that life hasn't been the same without you. Well, you were the one that shut us out. Like you were not the one that got upset and said goodbye. Well, I was mad at you. <laughs> I was also okay. I was just pretending. You know, I can stay mad at you forever. So, 
I had to pretend I was angry. Mm -hmm. All the same, I am so sorry. You owe me shopping. Oh, okay. Don't do. <laughs> Big one. <laughs> hey, Karen. You've not been picking Jerome's calls. Gary, Jerome doesn't know what he wants. I, I really don't want him to continue to live a life of guilt or feel indebted to me. <laughs> I, I certainly do not want him to, to, to feel pressured in being with me, nor, nor even try to be perfect because no one is. Okay, so the big question is, do you still love him? No, what sort of question is that? Of course you know I do. You need to give love a chance. Mm -hmm. You need to give your relationship a second chance. Jeremy must realize his mistakes. Mm -hmm. well, we miss you. I miss us. I, I miss us together. So just give him another chance so we can all go back to being us again. Yeah, right. We miss the happy you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry for everything I've done. Uh, say thank you for all you've done for me. Sure. Whoa. Oh my God.